Life happened. Ladies used to call me quiet, now I'm nice rapping. Guess the polo turned on, yeah, them nice fabrics. Shit, I remember when you said you didn't like rappers. That California sun turned to night traffic. We just hit that gutter lane and we drive faster. All I hear is that go. Alright, what's up, YouTube? Uh, back for another update. Uh, Happy New Year's. It's January 1st. Um, so let's get this new update on the go. Um, as you can see, got this new chrome bumper. Um, it was only 90 bucks. I got it off eBay from Autos Depot. Um, I was kind of unsure since it was only $90. And there's a few minor flaws. Uh, but for 90 bucks, it's actually a really good steal. Um, it came with the middle piece, the end pieces, and then the middle block inserts for 90 bucks plus some shipping. Uh, the only thing wrong is I had to uh, notch out where the bumper mounts to because the holes weren't lining up. But only $90, so I expected something like that. Anyways, um, not sure if you guys seen these. I got that clear kit from eBay with the markers, turns, and taillights. Um, so that really ties everything in together. Um, I got the, the, the light buckets and the grill mounted for, for good. Um, because before I just put it in with some zip ties and that's really not the way to go. Um, but anyways, did that. And then also I put my HID kit in, um, which I'll show you in about now. Alright, so here we go. Um, so I kind of want to show you under the hood before I show you the lights on. Even though it's during the day, I'll still show you them. Um, Alright, so here's everything mounted up. Uh, as you know, if anyone else knows when you get the full billet grill you have to put the light bucket uh, mount behind the firewall um, so there's clearance for the headlight and so that was kind of difficult but before it was zip tied but now we got it bolted in and the grills bolted in nice and good so nothing will be coming loose anytime soon um, there's the other side also got the ballast mounted up right there and I should you can see that and the other one is right there also if you see this this battery right here when I did the lights my battery was just so poopy it just these lights just drained the battery and uh, had to get a new one so I just went for it and got an Optima yellow top pretty darn expensive but hopefully it'll last a long time anyways there's the lights and let me show you kind of like the features of them Alright, so I have to turn it on, I just don't want to lose power or anything. Um, so right now I just got like the, the marker lights on. You can see the marker lights, the orange bulb, and then if you look in there, uh, you can kind of see it, not really well during the day, but there's a, uh, a blue city light. There's a blue city light uh, inside, inside the light housing. Um, so that, yeah, that's some markers, and let me show you the HIDs. Alright, now as you can see the HIDs are on. Um, I think I got the kit that was 10,000K, that's kind of like the dark blue. Um, so, they're not as bright as if someone else had HIDs since it's uh, shining through the billet grill. Um, but they are pretty nice and bright, and they definitely light the road better than what I had way before. I basically almost had no lights, so I couldn't hardly see anything. Um, but yeah, there they are. Uh, definitely nice. Uh, the kit was pretty easy to install. The only thing is, um, it was supposed to be a high and low beam kit, and we put it all in, and the high beam doesn't work. Um, if anyone has any ideas on why that's not working, uh, leave a comment below. Uh, yeah, there's the whole front all looking good. Uh, I think it actually turns out really nice. The chrome's tied in and everything. Um, and yeah, so let me talk about some more stuff. Alright, so that's pretty much the update on the truck. Um, it's starting to kind of come together slowly but surely. Um, anyways, um, 
What I'm going to be doing next, uh, it's always a curiosity for everyone else and myself. Um, but I think basically what we'll be doing next is getting those sea notches fully welded together and getting them mounted up in here. Um, and my, uh, my brother-in-law uh, is going to be helping me with the cross member stuff. Going to bend up some tubing and stuff like that. Um, also, I'll be actually relocating the tank. I've been thinking for a while, but on Nissan forums, trying to figure everything out. And I wanted to try to use it in the stock location, and that's not going to be the best. So I'm going to take that out, and I'm going to mount it in between the frame rails underneath the bed. Which I'll also have to cut the bed out, but I'll eventually put another floor above it. Since it is uh, northwest, it rains a lot here, and see there's a little bit of snow on the ground. Um, but yeah, so that's about it. I um, hope you enjoyed this little update. Um, hopefully it's not running on too long. Um, but yeah, that's the truck. So hopefully be, I don't know, this month, at least getting the C notches in, um, cross member in. Uh, probably when I do the C notches, best bet to do is relocate the gas tank. And then I'm actually going to be getting some money together. So I can buy, I think I'm going to do a triangulated four link um, system in the rear. So I think I might start buying stuff for that and who, who knows, maybe start selling by the end of the month and try to get this, I'm trying to get this truck on the ground before my senior year is up. And yeah, that's about it. Um, kind of running, rambling now. I uh, hope you stay tuned. Don't forget to rate, comment, subscribe for updates and edits. Uh, that's about it. So, uh, thanks for watching. Peace.